Hello everybody, and welcome back to the nerd. So today, um, done a little work over there, which I'll show you in a minute, but just quickly I wanted to, I got, uh, I got a couple of comments about that they, I think it was Redstone1, thought that this area here makes the perfect area for the reactor, or not reactor room, we have a reactor room over there. Um, processing, ore processing, refinery, assembly, maybe all, all of those things in here. Uh, maybe just ore processing, but maybe both. But yeah, I think, I agree. It, uh, it's the perfect place for that. Also, I think it'll keep it kind of away from everything. And if refining and assembling is happening, the sound won't be in your face all the time. Um, the Haiku Room, which is now its official name, <laughs> the Haiku Platform. Uh, the suggestion here was for like a, um, make it like a server room, like a, a massive server room. Maybe so I might do something like that in here. We'll see what happens. And yeah, the reactor room over there. Um, also over here, uh, you guys also thought it was a good idea to uh, expand this, raise the the uh, the cargo containers up, uh, and then do something with with all of all of this jazz. Uh, here as well. Uh, I think all three of those things, uh, Redstone Juan also also mentioned, I can't remember if, if other people did as well, but definitely him uh, for all of that. I do think that's a good idea. This will take a bit of time though, because I got to move everything out of here down to the hangar and then expand all this out. So I'm not going to do that today. I did get a special request. Um, oh, also, uh, uh, Elemental Blaze 79 mentioned that my interpretation of his previous comments, um, I kind of went over the top with them, but he prefers my <laughs> my misinterpretation. So down here, when we were talking about um, having the the eyeball, uh, spotlight eyeball in this window area here that goes back and forth, um, he actually just meant that it should be like a Cylon where it just goes back and forth constantly. Um, my interpretation of that was that there should be sensors and then it should look for ships that are approaching and then it should like follow them and he liked that better anyway so <laughs> i'm gonna try and do that maybe we'll do it in a two-phased approach where we just make it a silent eye to start with and then um uh we make it a fancier censored eyeball later so heading on the back up uh also and i'm not sure if this is what Redstone One was talking about, but he, I think he was asking what these, uh, do I have them over here? I did have them over here at one point, but there is like these, these struts that I have in places holding up. I don't even remember where I put them anymore. Maybe over here? No, I don't see them. I know these these curved struts that you can put on on here as well. I thought I had some somewhere, but maybe I took them all down. I don't know. But the, they look kind of cool, and I think I used to have them in here before I. Yeah, I think I did it before I put all of these um, in a bit, right? I think I had. Oh, here, right, right here. These guys. Uh, so these are part of the same mod as in this. Uh, and yeah, they're just uh, basically a way for you to put something cool that looks cool there that allows you to continue these on and still have like some kind of support looking thing. Um, they are, we go into here. So it's in this mod. So these guys here, these mount, these mounts short and a long one. So there's a, there's a two long one and then a, a one long one. And they go, they're, they're part of the mod that uh, is for this guy here, which doesn't tell me right off the bat who that is. I'll, I'll put a note in the, in the comments for that, or comments uh, on the screen as I talk about it. So you've probably already seen it. But anyhow, what we're going to do today is I've done a little bit of work over some prep work over here. So you'll see that I have brought so that, that, this used to be like that over there, which is straight up from the, from the ground. Uh, I brought it back one and you'll see why. I've also expanded this area just a little bit. Like I think I put a block here and I replaced these two with blocks and I just moved the, so all of the surrounding concrete out so that it still looks good. 
and there was a um, a white one back here that I, I maybe I just couldn't get to it before, but I fixed that. Um, and I also did this, so I'm still not sure if I like it, but with the the crate here, the one um, like it looks good downstairs where we have the the tube. Uh, the crate and then the, the ceiling piece because there's actually a ceiling downstairs right like it it's not just open like this i thought it looked really funny so i did that i don't know if i like it any better so underneath here is the uh, just one of the conveyor like the old size conveyor and i thought that looked funny too so i put these on there and eh, we'll see what it looks like when it's all done maybe it'll look all right but anyway so this is where we're working today a uh, special request to uh to finish the command center so we're going to do that I've worked out a bit of a design, and I think you guys are going to like it. I'm pretty happy with uh, what I think I came up with here. So the first things first, and it's going to be really convenient having a cargo container right there. First things first is, oh, sneak peek, <laughs> uh, we're going to use a bunch of this stuff. So all of these, these console looking dealies. Um, and also so this holographic projector. We're going to try and make it look like a, like a command center in here. Uh, so the first thing I want to do, I think, is to get started. Let's grab these. So let's see. I want to kind of make a bit of a walkway. I wonder what I need. Is it just steel plates? No, interior plates. Let's just grab a bunch of those then to start with. We're just gonna place the skeleton down here. So if I go, let's put one of these here like that. One of these here like that. Cause I'm gonna, basically I want like a walkway. So it's gonna come in and you're gonna have a walkway that comes in here and there's gonna be com command controls on both sides. And then I did a little bit of digging to see if this would be, an, oh my goodness. Okay, so that should go there. Um, so we have those, and I think I want the same idea over on this side, like that. Now, then one of these as well here, and then we'll put one of these guys, these like kind of little notchy things right there. So now it's kind of got this, you know, rolling out look over to this side. Now, along here, I want to have like the actual, the main, so we've got these cool looking so this is the, the cockpit with display. So we'll put a cockpit with display here. Um, and then beside it, there's a cockpit with HUD. I don't really know what the difference is, but we'll do that. And then what we'll do is the opposite on this side. So we'll go uh, the HUD one here. And then, oh, it's the wrong one. Uh, and then the display like that. So now, you can see the, the form of it starting, All right? So we're gonna have these two kind of, these uh, two kind of areas in here. Now along the, the back here, we're gonna put the ones, so there's a bunch of these that don't have any displays and stuff, right? So let's take this one. Yeah, so it lines up nicely with that. So we'll put one of those there. And then beside it, there's this kind of one that has like a, like a bit more structure to it, so like that, see? We'll put that beside it. And then here, we got another corner, so let's, ah, too far. Go around the corner like that. So now you can see, you can see that the form of it kind of slowly taking shape here, right? Um, now the same thing over here, we have one more spot here. Now let's see, what does that look like? Nah, too much. Let's put the tall one there, maybe, huh? Yeah, put the tall one there. But still, the one without the display. Because I want, like, these are the seated ones here, and then these are kind of like stand up, walk up to ones, right? And because if there's too many chairs in here, you wouldn't be able to walk around, especially over here, right? So we want there to be enough room. So this is the chair, so that this can fit like four, four people commanding and controlling in here, and then, and then the rest of them are, are standing up kind of display areas. Now, uh, we want to put these holographic units, and these ones are really cool. They actually have like a, 
like a map on them. So we're gonna put one here, and then I'm gonna add I don't want to do this. Let's just put them like side by side. I think that'll look good. Now that kind of makes this. Well, anyhow, the, the next thing I was going to do back there though is if I go down over here, we're going to use these. I wonder. Oop. I fell down a hole. Uh, let me out. Let me out. Maybe if I just put one here. So. There it is. This will be the server for the command and control center. And they can walk in and like that. So it'll be behind the, dis the graphical display. I, was, I actually originally had it right here. So like that. So when you walk in, in my, in my thought process, I guess, I was going to do it like that. So as you walk in, there'd be, there'd be one there. But maybe we can always add one, I guess. Maybe this is cool, so that kind of like it's hidden in behind. There's the there's the command center server, and you can access it behind the holographic display. So that's the basic setup, I think. So we still got a because originally I had this holographic display over here, and then I had two servers in the back there, in my my quick kind of mock-up that I was thinking about doing. So we'll see if that see what that looks like. We can always fill in more stuff if we need to. Um, but now comes the, the part where I just basically need to grab all of the components and then build all this up to show you guys what this actually looks like. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. Uh, so here's the basics of the command center. Now, I'm already not sure if I like this. I think I'll take that out. And we're gonna put, oops. We're gonna put it right here like I originally thought it should go. that yeah <clears throat> that looks better so we, we could put another console maybe over here or we could just leave it yeah oh I can't stop myself okay um, I guess small console have we that one's got a seat on it yeah no we don't want that okay, we've got that one's got a seat that one's got a seat this is the little guy, I think, right? Is that upside down? There we go. Interior plates. Of course, we need interior plates. Thought I had this all done. Sorry, guys. Uh, so we need interior plates, construction components. Um, I think we need some motors. We need some of these. You know I'm missing something. Put that down. Displays. Yeah, that's what it was. So we can still get into this crate, which is good. Uh, so we don't need these things anymore. And then some displays. There we go. Whoops. I'm still paranoid about carrying stuff around with me. There, now let's take a look at it. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. So we got a nice little command center in here, right, where you can come in. And oh look, my energy's down. So now I can actually sit down in one of these chairs and look around, just working away. My energy's coming back. I think this is the first seat I've had in my place. <laughs> and there we go. So yeah, so like you can walk in here really nicely. I think it looks really cool still with all of the with all of the the, the the walls and everything in here. We've got our displays here. These things are really cool. Now these are all functional too, right? Like I can actually make these things 
Um, so that's a terminal. Oh, I thought, okay, these ones don't have buttons. These are just terminals. Uh, this, of course, is a programming unit that I have been playing with, and we're gonna do some stuff with that in the future. So we got seats in here, and then we just got these consoles that you can sit in and work with. You know, all role play like. Oh, what's that? Okay, that's a just an area to, to interact with. Ooh, no, this one is actually a button one. Well, that's cool. So these ones are, so that's, yeah, that's there. And then we got a button. Oh, there's four buttons right along. Look at that. There's four buttons. One, two, three, four. Four buttons there. So that means these ones have buttons. These ones have buttons. These ones don't. Doesn't look like. But that's cool. Didn't know that. There you go. Um, all right. And so, there you go. All done. No, of course not. We have one more thing to do here, which I think you guys, this is the, 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 the piece that puts it all together is next. And I don't know if I mentioned, uh, I moved the beacon so that we'd have room down here, right? Um, because it was, just, it was just, I don't know, didn't look right down here. Uh, and also up there, it provides a bunch of light. I love that, big light. But yeah, there's a beacon, little Betsy's beacon up top. So the next thing we wanna do is put up the walls. The walls, you might ask. Yes, the walls. Now we're gonna make these walls out of glass. So the first thing I wanna do I'm gonna put the door in. Think right here. I think girders. Okay, so whatever. I think it's just girders. Then I probably need for everything. And again, I'll do the same thing as last time. I'll just put it all down. Where are girders? Girders. We're not gonna construct any of it yet. But so I'm gonna put that there. And then. The next thing is I need to put, I've got double long, is it this one here? Yeah. So I'm going to put these um, there. So it doesn't like that. So I probably need to cut out a bit of that wall. Either that or it doesn't like the, I think there was also a thing where it didn't like putting it on. Yeah. So they see that should, that should work. But I believe if you put one up, so let's start with the, where is it here? Uh, if I put, I think it's the inverted one above this. I hope I'm getting all of the same siding. So put one of these there and one of these there. So it's gonna be this tall. It's gonna go all the way up. Um, Pull it up like this all the way around. So let's see now. Can I, now that I have that there, will it let me put one beside it? Oh, of course, because I have those the other way. So let's let's just cheat for a moment. And because I, I need this the other way around eventually. But uh, for now, let's go. Oops. Where is it here? Uh, so if I put this one here then it's the same box. Yeah, now I can put them here. So now if I go, that goes there, there we go. Like that. Now we find out if it's, yeah, okay. So it actually is um, stuff in the way. Come on, give me the box. And there. Oh, no, it does, okay. So we're gonna have those going all the way up like that. And then we're gonna have them also over here, but we need to put something here, right? So this is where I'm gonna use these. So we just need to get it. Now I'm hoping again, that these are the right way around. If not, I'll have to flip them um, like that. And then, oh, again, it doesn't like the fact that it's, I get, no, oh. come on. Ah. No, let's put it on the inside. Maybe I need to, ooh, 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 did I just? Doesn't like that. 
like it there. Arr, this is so annoying sometimes. Okay, because you can still like force it. So if I just put some scaffolding. Oh, I can't put that there. Okay, so if I put a scaffolding here and here. Uh, I keep forgetting where I put these things. There we go. So I'm going to put one there. Okay, so it doesn't like it there. And it doesn't like it down there. Which means, out comes the drill. And we grab all this stuff. Because I like making sure I keep it all. And I'm lost now. Oh. And this is my little process of trying to put it down. And oh, I'm getting pushed, I'm getting pushed around here somehow. Let me out. There we go. So then that can go there. And this one won't go here yet because we've got too much in the way. So let's cut out a bit of that. That might be enough now. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, no, I want that one. I can get rid of the scaffolding. Like the soul. And this guy also had to get flipped around, right? So let's go back to, I think it's the inverted one. And is it the right way already? It is, okay. There we go. Now, what do these need? These need bullet graph, bullet poop, blah, 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 can't speak, bulletproof glass and girders. So let me weld all these up and then we'll take a look at how it looks. <laughs> All right, so take a look at this. Doesn't this look cool? So there is the finished product. So you can still see in there, right? But it's the dark on the outside and it looks like a command center to me. Now we need one last finishing touch. Uh, do I have it? Nope. Here we go. Oh, is that on? It is, okay. So, uh, no actually. I think. Ah, no, not you. What I think I want to do actually is, where is the hitbox for this thing? Ah, oh, jeez, so sensitive. Um, I want to put it up one level. Oh, we got a light there. No, okay, we'll put it here. We'll put it there. So after all that, we'll do that. And that just finishes up. There we go. <clears throat> so now we've got... Oh. Frog in my throat. <clears> throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Apologies. Um, but there we go. Command, right? We got, I think it looks like a really cool sign. And it looks really awesome from out here. And I just walked right outside of the railing somehow. Whoop, okay. And I can open the door. Those glass doors are so cool. Uh, boop. Now we're inside the command center. And look at this, doesn't this look awesome? We still got the walls in here. We've got it closed off. I think this looks just freaking amazing. I hope you guys do too. Um, yeah, so we got our you know, displays for looking at who's in the sector. We've got our computer core in here. All of the the readouts and displays and people can work in here and access to the inventory system. And actually it's not looking too bad now that all this other stuff is here, I think. Um, yeah, and then a door and a really cool looking exterior. I think that looks, I just, that, in my opinion, 
is the coolest looking thing. Look at that. Command center. Let's take a screenshot of that. Oh yeah. Oh, and then the lighting glitch. Oh, it got darker. I don't understand why it does that, but I really like that. I think it looks super awesome and I hope you guys do too. And there we go, we got a command center in the little Betsy. Looks really good. Like it, like it a lot. <laughs> All right, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm not exactly sure what I'll do in the next episode. Feel free to leave me uh, comments, but um, already have lots of ideas for some of these rooms. There was a suggestion for this room too. Oh, oh, a monument for um, uh, Wheatley uh, could go in here because you guys saw what happened to Wheatley. Oh, before we go, uh, I should quickly show you one more little thing. If we go over, oh darn it, I went totally the wrong way. And uh, I just learned that you can sprint in this game by holding down shift, but it also makes no noises when you sprint. Woo! I don't know why. There's no running noises. I don't know why I never thought of that before to try and actually sprint, but there we go. So we go down here, you see this cargo container. And you look at the name of the cargo container. <laughs> and inside this cargo container, is all of the leftovers of poor Wheatley. So he's he's there, he's ready to be memorialized. Um, and uh, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> That's the last thing I wanted to show you. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave any suggestions, comments, any ideas uh, for what I should do next and what the rooms could be used for. Um, and yeah, I look forward to, to reading them and, and doing more in this world. Look at that, looks out call. See you all next time.